Easy Access for Social Inclusion Training. Hello and welcome to this free online Easy Multiplier event. It's been organized by Universidad de Vigo in Spain and is entitled Creating Easy to Understand Audiovisual Training Materials. My name is Pablo Romero Fresco. I work at Universidad de Vigo. And before I talk you through the contents of this online and asynchronous multiply event, I'd like to give you a brief overview of the different multiply events that the EASY project has had so far since the current event that we are presented here is multiply event number four. Multiply event number one was held on the 7th of March uh, 2019 at SDI Munich, which is one of the partners of a project. And it was entitled Easy to Understand Audiovisual Content. That event was devoted to uh, the presentation of the project and the first intellectual output or the first objective, which was um, to find out more about the current state of affairs in terms of training and practice of easy to understand um, information and material, um, mostly as applied to audiovisual um, material. Multiply event number two was held on the 20th of June 2019 and it was organized by Dyslexia for um in Sweden. It was actually held in Stockholm at the premises of the Swedish Institute for Standards. It was entitled Creating Audiovisual Information that is Easy to Understand and it covered intellectual output number two of the Easy project which was mostly devoted to gathering um, the views from experts on how to produce audiovisual material that is easy to understand. Multiply event number three was entitled Towards a Better Understanding. It was held on the 13th of February 2020 at the University of Hildesheim. And it was an event where the EASIT partners presented the um, map of skills or the skill sets that we will be using um, to have an idea of what kind of professional is needed for the creation of audiovisual material that is easy to understand. The skill sets are very much the basis of the course and the materials um, that we will be presenting today in multiply event number four here at the University of Vigo. Um, this current multiply event entitled Creating Easy to Understand Audiovisual Training Materials as I said before, is asynchronous and online, and it's part of uh, the Campus do Mar structure or infrastructure at the University of Vigo. It will be made up of different videos, such as this one. Uh, first of all, and following this brief presentation, we will have an introduction to the whole project by the leader of EASIT, Ana Matamala, from Universidad Autónoma de Barcelona. Following her presentation or introduction, we will have a presentation about IO4 um, by Sergio Hernández from the University of Hildesheim in Germany, where he will be presenting the, this output um, of IO4, uh, which is basically about the course. Um, and then finally, we will be moving on to IO5. IO5 is the core of this multiplier event. It will be presented by Ana Matamala, first of all, and in kind of a more general view. And then we will move on to brief presentations about the different units which uh, make up this, this course uh, from unit one, unit two, three A, three B, and then unit four, looking at the content of those units, um, the uh, objectives, if you like, and also the different types of materials that are being used and presented um, in those in those units. Finally, we will have presentations from experts. First of all, one presentation by Carlo Eugeni, who is an expert in live subtitling and will be talking about live subtitling and easy to understand language. Then we have a discussion um, between or involving Oscar Garcia from Plena Inclusión, Madrid, and Susan Jekat from Zurich University of Applied Sciences, 
they will be discussing the um, current state of affairs and the kind of short-term future of the practice and the research in, in this area. And we have a second interview, a second discussion involving Diego Chapella. Um, he's one of the few experts, actually a pioneer, in the creation of easy to understand language in Galician, a minority language in Spain. He will be interviewed by my colleague from Universidad de Vigo, Lourdes Lorenzo. This is um, the idea for this multiply event. This is what it involves. It will be closed by a short video um, in the way of closing remarks. We hope that you find the videos useful and that you take an interest in the project and in its output. Thank you very much for your attention. The project EZIT has received funding from the European Commission under the Erasmus Plus Strategic Partnerships for Higher Education Programme, Grant Agreement 2018-1-ES01, KA203-05275. The European Commission's support for the production of this publication does not constitute an endorsement of the contents which reflect the views only of the authors and the Commission cannot be held responsible for any use which may be made of the information contained therein. This work is licensed under a Creative Commons Attribution, Share Alike 4.0 International License. Partners of the EZIT project Universitat Autonoma de Barcelona Universita degli Studi di Trieste Universidade de Vigo, Stiftung Universität Hildesheim, SDI München, Dyslexi Verbundet, Radio Televisia Slovenia, Zavod Risa. Easy, easy access for social inclusion training.